What the heck is this? What? What just happened? Set scenery with the lever, change the set of sceneries with the wheel. Um, hmm. Am I going to be putting on a play? I have no idea how this works. It just told me, but I've already forgotten it because I have a terrible memory. Okay, well, I'm going to figure this out, and I will be right back. Alright, well, this puzzle is, um, super confusing because it doesn't even seem like it's much of a puzzle. Um... Okay, so... This allows you to set various things, like this allows you to set the background between five different backgrounds. This allows you to choose uh, Conroy, all that stuff. So you're choosing between the different elements, and you can create whatever scene you want. I thought this was a puzzle, but it doesn't seem like you even need to solve this. I thought this was part of the puzzle, but it doesn't seem to be. And here's why. Okay, okay. so you can read the screenplay. Uh -huh. Right, so you can see what the various scenes look like. So you can recreate them if you want. Oh, I actually recreated one wrong, or did I? No, no, never mind, I didn't. So yeah, I've recreated this one. Someone has drawn something on here. Someone has drawn something on here. Yes, they have. Which is why I've recreated it. I don't know if this is part of a puzzle. I don't think it is. Looks like I can... I'm guessing his hand is maybe the f thing to open the trap door, but here's the strange part. I thought that was the puzzle. But I didn't understand how this thing actually worked when I first started using it, so I looked at the hint system just to see if I could uh, figure out if it would tell me how this thing actually worked, because I can't, I can't seem to get back the tutorial thing that told me how the whole stage system worked. So I was clicking through the hints to see if it would tell me, and then it just told me the solution. Can you find a hint on how to open it? This is talking about the trap door. Take a look around in the mecha theater. Or mecha, mecha, however you pronounce that. And then it just said, use the door of the control desk. And that's it. That, wait, that's the solution. Like it has nothing to do with the control panel? It's talking about this. There's a door here. Is, is that actually the solution? Let's find out. Hmm, the compartment is empty. What? I'm so confused. So that's not the solution. What? Okay, let me go with my original idea. Get Conroy out, and maybe his hand is a lever. Or, you know, a switch of some sort. Hmm, actually, apparently you can't even move it. Hmm. I can't get the trap door open. Alright, I'm super confused. I thought setting up the stage was the solution, but according to the hint system, it isn't. Scribbled on the door of the control... Wait, did that just change? Oh. I guess I didn't realize how the hint system works. It's not only is it in stages, but it adapts to what you've done. Now, now it's different. Something scribbled on the door of the control deck. Okay, this is very strangely designed. I'm, I'm very confused. This puzzle is really weird. I don't, I don't get it. Something scribbled on there. Okay, so setting the stage is part of the solution. Okay, that kind of clears it up. Six, four, seven, four. Hmm, I wonder what that means. Hmm. I wonder too. Oh wait, all right, let me figure it out and I'll be right back. What was that? There we go, okay. Got it. 
Right, so... It's a combination. Alright, so here's what it's saying. So this is the, the symbol for the icon, uh, the symbol for the backgrounds that you select on the stage. So what I figured is that maybe telling you to use the background from page number six on the screenplay. Same with this, this is the, uh, the, the child from number four on the screenplay, that's Conroy from number seven, and the other thing from number four. And that is exactly what it's saying. So if you look at the screenplay, the background from number six is this thing, and then the, the kid from number four, which is the crying kid. Go to the control panel, which is what I just did. And there you go, there's the background, there's the... I keep forgetting the damn thing's name. Biz... It starts with a B and it has a Z in it. Yeah, I, I can't freaking remember their names. But yeah, I just combined all the stuff, and there we go. So, yeah, even... Well, let me make sure I've solved the puzzle first, before I start talking about it. I'm guessing now his hand can be moved as a lever? Yes. Thumbs down. It wasn't me. Um, what's just happened? Okay, it worked. So yeah, that was a strange, strange puzzle. There's something about it that confused the hell out of me at first. And the hint system actually made me more confused. Very... The, I, I can't ex exactly explain it, but it wasn't a particularly hard puzzle. It made sense, but for some reason it was just utterly confusing to figure out what I was supposed to do. Very, very strange. Alright, well, let's... Let's... Did, all... did I... Okay, that was weird. I kind of broke the game. This game has a lot of strange problems. One time when I tried to play it... One of... Uh, I tried to record this once and had a failed recording session that just went horribly wrong. And one of the things that happened is that... Right after the intro video... My character was just stuck. Every time I would click on something, it would give me that uh, that X where your mouse is, as if you couldn't interact. And it would do that everywhere. I, I couldn't access anything. I couldn't move. I couldn't look at anything. It, it was just completely broken. And then you have the audio sync issue, and then you have the weird jittering up and down by one pixel when I was standing near the guard thing, and then just there, it seems like I temporarily broke the game. Really weird. This game has a bunch of very strange and thankfully minor problems. Anyway, into the secret passage. Let's go. I think I'm going to be okay. It doesn't look like it's very good at actually catching me. Pigeon! I found you, little Fuzz Fuzz. Don't worry, I'll bring you back to Conroy. <laughs> Root wax? Why doesn't this damn thing work? That idiot probably broke it. I'm sure she's not talking about me. If I ever see that imbecile again, I'll kill him. I hope she's not talking about me. Uh, hi. Alright, so it looks like she has a bit of a mad lair underneath the stage. <laughs> oh my god, look at that control desk. Look at those handles. What the hell? Oh my god, look at this place. What is she making? I'm assuming she's making something. There's lots of knickknacks everywhere. The label says... Conrad's super glue. Mix with solvent, shake, and glue. Wait a minute. Mix with solvent, shake, and glue. Oh, is that what this is for? Mix it in with the lava streamer, put the cork on it, and shake it? 
Way too heavy. Oh. Um. Well, you, you don't have to take the whole thing, do you? Way too heavy. Huh. Ottilie's liquor is as good as solvent. There we go. Well, if it's as good as solvent, I'm glad I didn't drink it. I have no idea what I'm going to use this glue for, but now I have it. Corked up lava streamer with Mirac. The with cork fits perfectly. With Miracle Glue Powder. Sweet. Shake well. Now I have glue. Excellent. Don't know what I'm going to use it for, but I have it. The pigeon is so cute. There are so many levers here. I think I shouldn't touch them unless I know what I need to do. Lots of odds and ends. Including apparently a light bulb in a jar. Why would you put a light bulb in a jar? Dratted pigeon. Heck, stop clowning around. I have to focus here. I would rather not want to disturb her then. Alright, so I need to catch Peck. I mean, she's gonna find out I'm here. I mean, come on. Well, try the net again, I guess. <laughs> Why not? That's just a random guess, isn't it? No, actually, there was nothing random about that one. Why should I do that? Hmm. I don't want her to notice me. Ah. <sighs> Seriously, knock it off, or I'll fix you up with a new role in Conroy's idiotic Mercator play. Hey, the play was awesome. Conroy let people work on it for weeks. What a philistine. <laughs> okay, let's mess around with the control desk. What the heck did that just do? <laughs> Okay, hold on. A plan is forming. Okay, so I can put something on his hand. But what? A net? Why would that work? It can hold the net in its hand. Why would that work, I say, as it proceeds to work? Um, okay. I'm, I'm sorry, that's not a random guess, but attempting to use the net directly on the pigeon is a random guess? Uh, okay. Wait, where did the net go? Crap. <sighs> Alright, so it's not going to make it inside of the little tiny slot that it has to go through. Or I could just glue it. Maybe it will make it through, but it just needs to be glued. Hmm. I honestly don't see how this is going to work, though. Wouldn't it have to protrude out to the side to be able to catch the pigeon? And if it did that, then it wouldn't even be able to make it inside. It can hold the net in its hand. I don't know, but let's try it. I put some glue on the hand and the net. Bingo. I, I can't see how that would work, wouldn't it? The net would just be, like, level. It'd be straight. With the Conroy wooden figure cutout thing. So how could it possibly catch Peck, which is multiple feet inside of the room? I don't get it. 
What is this going to do? Oh. I did not realize it was on level with that. <clears throat> what do you think you're doing? Mm, I snatched the little phosphos from you. Almost. Wow. I'm so impressed that I'm going to continue to ignore you. I won't stand idly by while you steal Conroy's pendant and, uh... My father built that phosphos. Conroy stole it from him. But, uh, Conroy would never do that. Boy, how naive are you? <laughs> Come on. Please. Maybe it's just stuck? Why? Why won't it glow? <laughs> hey, don't cry. I can cry whenever I want. <laughs> if you want it to glow, you just have to... Look here. Give it to me. Laura, I hope you'll watch this. I'm deeply sorry, my girl. I had no idea what Conroy was planning. I... <laughs> Laura, listen to me carefully. The only way to stop Conroy. Laura, you must... No time left. In the root forest. To save the wind. Without the flute. We're running out of time. In the root forest. Ah! Leave it. Take care of the others. Oh. Rimanepo, old friend, what's going on? A little souvenir you've got there. Guards, take him to the chamber. Laura! This will forever remind me of today, the most beautiful day of my life. <sighs> what a strange nose. He always said I was the only one. What has Conroy done? He lied to me. <gasps> Robert, excellent work, my boy. Without you, we would never have found her. You scumbag! What have you done to my father? I know exactly! Guard! You've always said that the Phosphos reminds you of the best day of your life. I am sorry you had to find out this way, Robert, but there are no greeting cards for such things. Robert, come here. We both know you can't get by on your own. No! I mean, yes. I mean, yes, I can do it. <laughs> <laughs> brute forest, brute forest. Okay. Okay, flute nose. Grab hold and put on the helmet. It could get dangerous. I need that flute nose. I really don't think that he will be coming back, sir. I was really only referring to his nose. Alright, welcome back. Um, the game actually hung up on the loading screen to the next chapter. I This game has some really strange technical issues. I'm surprised. Um, but anyway, it's not that big of a deal, so this will just, this will take me directly to the very next scene right after the loading screen, so let's do that. To the Root Forest. What exactly are we looking for? 
My father talked about the root forest in the film. Did you not listen? Well, I was slightly distracted by the screaming Asposians and the Basilians. The place where the film was made has to be somewhere here in the forest. But the root forest is huge. And scary. We have to start somewhere. Don't you want to know the secret behind the petrified flute noses? Well... Of course. Let's go. Yeah, okay. I, I was just going to say that. Um, well then, uh, let's go. Stop. There's a trap there. Where? Oh yeah, I knew that. I just wanted to... Oh. Yeah, right, flute nose. I'm going to find another way into the forest. You stay here. Act petrified. And above all, don't touch anything. <laughs> As if I couldn't handle this trap by myself. Yeah, <laughs> don't touch anything. Yeah, that's going to happen. What is that adorable floating cloud thing? What is that? It's lovely, whatever it is. And what is this? If that creature doesn't watch out, it's going to choke on Conroy, as have so many others before it. Look, there it is. Oh, it's a tumble mouse. Oh, tumble mouse, right. Just don't, um, staple it to the ground. She's watching me. Hi. Too high. Hmm. <laughs> the only thing I have left is a pigeon feather. Hmm. Well, I could. Yeah, I didn't think that would work. Thing's so cute. It's like a cloud with ears and eyes and a mouth. Or, no, that's a nose. <laughs> it doesn't want to give it up. And its teeth look pretty sharp. You know what? It can keep it. I don't even want it. Ooh, a helmet. Looks more like a funnel. It does, actually. That's what she meant by helmet. It was a funnel. Hm. A funnel helmet. Safety first. Hmm. I could use the debris to build a house for Laura and me. We could live in solitude and start our own family. Um, what? I think you're thinking ahead too much there, Robert. My gosh, even the splitters are shattered. Nothing's useful. Oh, a hollow. What's in there? Hmm, nothing. Nothing? Really? Stick your hand in deeper. My hand doesn't fit in the hole. I could put my nose in it, but how would that help? I don't know. Why don't you try and let's find out? Ooh, there's a tree here. Tree fruits. Huge fruits are hanging up there. They look kind of like potatoes growing from a tree. They look heavy and solid. Maybe I shouldn't stand directly beneath the tree. They're hanging too high up. If I kick it now, a fruit will definitely fall on my head. Oh, well, I have a solution for that. Actually, no, I think I do... Why should I do... Mm, this. Bingo. Safety looks stupid. <laughs> yes, safety often does look stupid, but it saves your life. They're hanging too... Hey, great. What now? Hmm. Achievement unlocked. Brain teaser. Okay, so it's a little bit too funnily. Hmm. Why should I do that? I don't know. Alright, so we need to like, I need like a hammer or something that can smash it. Wow, it's a wonder we survived. Yeah, actually, wait a minute. Those are the skid marks from the craft that they were flying in, and I think those are the skid marks, too. Look at how far they skidded on the ground. How fast were they going? Hmm, all these traps are leading me to suspect 
that there's something behind them I definitely want. Yes. Trespassers will be shot. Thank you for your understanding. <laughs> That's a very polite warning message about your impending death if you step over the traps. Smells like a slug that someone stepped on and then left in the sun. Ew. Attention. Dangerous traps. Intruders will be shot. Thank you for your understanding. Hmm. 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 <laughs> oh, look at that thing go. Blowing on the wind. Uh, maybe I can tickle with, tickle the strange animal with a feather? Come on. Spit that old liar out. <laughs> it actually worked. Once again, I'm amazed. That was a joke solution, but it actually worked. Someone should keep an eye on you. Oh wow, now it's just covered in... Ugh. Don't look at me like that. You deserved it. <laughs> what? Nothing to say. Hmm. It seems to be broken. Alright, um, how can I use it? That won't help me with the trap problem. No, it won't. That won't help me. Nor will that. Okay, can't get over the traps yet. So what do I do with the puppet? Wait a minute, Thornbush. I didn't even see that. A thorn bush. Conroy had many of these on his windowsill. Ouch! A very affectionate bush. That's one way to put it. Hmm. 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 All right. So I need to smash the top of my helmet. Um. Will this thing bite down on it? I'll need this helmet myself. I guess not. What am I supposed to do with this puppet? Shove it in the hollow? No, no. I can't get anything from the debris, right? Oh my gosh, even the splitters are shattered. No. At least you're good for something. What? What are you good for? Oh, I... okay. <laughs> and now the Conroy puppet is not only half broken, but it's also completely, uh... covered in... Uh, stuck with needles. You deserve it, Conroy. Alright, thorny branch. Now, what do I do with that? I guess I could use that to set off the traps? That won't help me with the... Maybe not. Can I reach the tree fruits? That won't work. Didn't think so. Hmm. Even with the thorny branch, I can't reach it. I guess I could stick it in the hollow, but why? So, trap set up. Let the tumble mouse come. Oh, I'm gonna catch it when it blows in the wind. Okay, what am I going to do with that after that? I don't know. But one step at a time. Come on, Tumble Mouse. <laughs> oh my god, look at that. It's so adorable. Come here. Come here, Tumble Mouse. It's caught in the trap. Look at that thing. My own snuggly Tumble Mouse. I just want to hug it. Can you imagine, like, a hundred of those just blowing on the wind? All right, so what am I going to do with it now? I have... What, yeah, what can I do with it? Um... It can't... It can't help me with the traps. I mean, if I let it go, it's just going to... If I let it go, it's just going to run away from me, isn't it? Why should I do that? Or rather, blow away from me? So, uh, 
That won't work. No, it won't. I mean, it can't help me with the traps, can it? That'd be cruel. Yes, it would. What the heck do I do with the tumble mouse? That's just a rat. Yeah, I mean, this isn't gonna do anything. Hold on tight. Wait, what? Oh. Uh. Really? Wait, so putting in the trap isn't cruel, but sticking out on top of what's practically a spike and then having a fruit hit its top isn't? Isn't that going to hurt it? Safety looks stupid. I hope Laura won't see me. Helmet. You've done your duty. That looked really painful for the mouse. I feel bad for it. Okay. Tree fruit. Hmm. Now <laughs> what do I do with this? Looks heavy. Alright, maybe heavy enough to set off the traps. <laughs> Darn it, it's slipping out of my fingers. I can't throw it. Well, you don't... Windfall. You don't need to throw it. You can just drop it directly down. Come on. He's just gonna do it again. Oh, Robert. Darn it, it slipped. Hmm. Um, what what could I possibly use it on? I like I don't even What can I possibly do with it here? I have what is essentially a heavy ball. What does one do with a heavy ball and a root forest? It's never I've never been in a root forest with a heavy ball before. I don't think... No, that doesn't make any sense. That's just a rat. Yes, it is. Do you want it, strange animal? I don't want to beat him to death. That's it's not... probably forbidden to feed them. Yeah, I was thinking of feeding it, not beating it to death. Jeez. What can I possibly even do here? There's so little to interact with, I can't possibly get stuck here, can I? I won't rummage around in the dirt. Huge fruits. Can't do anything with the tree anymore, right? If I kick it now. No. They're hanging. My gosh, even. Can I bash this thing to get something from it? That could be fun. Won't help, though. No. Am I missing something super obvious? I don't think that... Neither do I. I can't do that. I don't. I don't... What? What? Okay. In about two seconds, I'm going to find out whether I'm a complete idiot or if this is just a really strange puzzle. Let's find out. What's the, what's the solution? Disarm the traps. Activating them. Mm -hmm. Massive and heavy. Yep. Yep. Maybe the strange animal can help. Talk to the... Talk, wait. I can talk to the strange animal? Uh... So, what are you then? Oh. Hello, my little... Can I pet you? Hello, young fella. The answer to your first question is... Oi, I'm a gorf. The answer to your second question is... No, not unless you wish to die a cruel death. Oh, I'm sorry. I had no idea you were able to talk. No problem. Not many know I can. Most of the people who ever got to know me are dead. Actually, 
All of them are. <laughs> um. You should know that 96% of my body consists of lethal poisons. Oh my god. Yes. I live safeguarded, but one becomes a bit lonely after a while. Yeah, I had no idea you could talk. Okay, that explains it. Hmm. 96% poisons, huh? I don't think that's possible. Don't you need, like... I, I would think a very large portion proportion of your... Of the stuff in your body would be made up of, like, bones and muscle and connective tissue and, you know, stuff like that, but... Okay. Just don't don't shake my hand, okay? So, um, would you describe yourself as poisonous? Uh, it's the primary self-defense mechanism of my species. Gotcha. So you can survive in the root forest even though it's so dangerous. <laughs> to speak the truth here. What makes the root forest so dangerous is the corpse. But what is so dangerous about you? In principle, everything. I secrete a deadly corrosive fluid. My tail is a club of death. Don't even get me started about my claws. <laughs> they can sink into anything softer than diamond. I could go on forever. They could sink into anything... Softer than diamond. You don't say, like, maybe a tree fruit thing. So, you're dangerous. Dangerous is the wrong word. That would imply that you could actually survive my touch. I would describe myself as 100% lethal. Really? Yeah, seriously. High five? Uh, no. <laughs> no, just kidding. Yeah, let's let's not touch. Just you stay there and I'll stay here. Did you set up these traps here? Why would I do that? I'm a lethal creature all on my own. But who else could have done it? Oh, that was a crazy old man who lives here in the forest. For a holy man, he exhibits an exceptional creativity when it comes to the killing of intruders. A holy man? Does that mean he's a wind monk? A uh, former wind monk. His fountain dried up. I suspect he still hasn't gotten over it. Hmm. Why does he set up traps? Does he not want to be found? Oh, who knows what a crazy lost soul wants. Last time I saw him, he was blabbering about some secret place in the forest that he has to protect. That's where we want to go. Super. Now we only have to get past these traps. Well, good luck then. You might as well try to kiss a gorf. <laughs> no, honestly. Nobody has ever kissed me before, you know. Huh. That doesn't surprise me. Although, actually, kissing a gorf would not be hard. The hard part would be surviving afterwards. Hmm. The trap system doesn't seem to be very sophisticated. Indeed. But the crazy old man who set them up is an advocate of efficiency. So... They're not clever, but fatal. True. Gotta hand it to him. Simple. Very simple. But very effective. Although, honestly, since you can see them, what you could do is just step in between them. But, uh, that'd be kind of terrifying. Tell me about your secretions. What exactly is a secretion? A bodily fluid. Everything that one can secret. For example, my skin and my saliva are extremely corrosive. Which means? That means that when it rains, I don't get wet. Because the water evaporates off of me in about a split second. I could also spit a hole into this stone pretty easily. That sounds incredibly impressive. Oh, yes it is. I once impressed a girl so much that she actually went out on a date with me. How did it go? 
actually quite well. But when I get nervous, I tend to splutter. Oh, and how did she react? Oh, she completely dissolved. <laughs> <laughs> get it? Dissolved? Yes, yes, I get it. <laughs> so, you spit deadly fluids while speaking. Sounds highly impractical. Man, how? You try meeting ladies as a gorf. A female gorf's as hazardous as males. Nah, the problem is that they're far more poisonous. If two gorfs fall in love, they really intend to spend the rest of their lives together. How romantic. Yes, well, the rest of their lives isn't particularly long anymore. <laughs> The life of a gorf sounds fascinating and also really sad. What's so dangerous about your claws? Well, let me put it like this. Actually, I can only move on sturdy rocks. On any other surface, I get stuck because my claws dig in. With time, this stone will also give way. I imagine that must be very exhausting. Ah, oh, it's not that bad. It keeps me fit. Your claws really are sharp. Just looking at them makes my eyes tear up. Yes, and they're impractical. You can't imagine what happens when I have to scratch myself. <laughs> Ouch. No, oh, yes, without intending anything of the sort, I cut my own flesh and start bleeding. You don't even want to know the damage my blood can do. Yeah. I really don't think I want to know. With those claws, you can't touch anything. Oh, I can indeed touch things. I simply can't do it without killing them. <laughs> okay, well, let's see what he thinks of this. I don't want to beat him to death. Very considerate of you. Oh, apparently you heard me say that. Okay, um, hmm. Well, I can't seem to ask him to help me. Hello, me. Hello, young friend. Okay, I guess. With pleasure. I always offer a helping hand to my fellow Espulsion. Oh, only in a figurative sense, of course. <laughs> Otherwise, they'd be dead immediately. <laughs> you get it? Because everything I touch dies immediately. <laughs> yes, um, <laughs> funny. What I wanted to ask was... Okay, so I've talked to him, but he doesn't... I can't seem to ask him to help me. This is grayed out, right? Yeah. So... What if I do this again? Darn it, it's slipping out of my... I mean, now that I've talked to him, it seems like nothing's changed. Hello. No, nothing's changed. Wait, 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 wait a minute. I just see his claws. Oh, his claws are a separate selection now. They seem to be sharp. Just looking at them sends shivers down my spine. Hmm... Why, thank you. But, um, why couldn't that have just been in the dialogue with him? Why did it have to be a separate hotspot that was added silently after I talked to him? At least I don't think that was there before. Maybe I just never noticed it. I don't know. That could have been designed better, but whatever. Not a big deal. Okay. Now I've got a bowling ball fruit thing. Come on, Robert. Come on, Robert. Come on, Robert. You can do it. <gasps> nice. Ha, I showed those traps. Oh, crap. <sighs> Is there an explanation? Um, I disarmed the traps. Oh, 
loser. I just wanted... You're a wind monk. You're wearing Wind Guardian's red. Yes. This fabric conceals bloodstains. Please, don't kill me. I didn't intend to break your trap. Answer truthfully. Are you a threat to the secrets of the Root Forest? No, I'm not dangerous. I'm the opposite. I'm undanger... Um, Conroy always told me... Conroy? I hate that rotten, devious, treacherous dwarf. If I ever meet that slippery, detestable, naked mole rat again, I'll kick his wrinkled ass until he can wear himself as a hat. What? No, I, I don't know him. I've never heard of him before. Well, I, I used to be his apprentice a long time ago, but that was probably more than an hour ago. You'll talk sooner or later. Hey, Flute Nose, don't worry. I'll get you down. Huh? What was that? Alive? Okay, yes, alive. As long as Robert is trapped, you will play as Laura. Oh, okay. Yeah, I heard that you get to uh, play as different characters. Well, at least his aim seems to be horrible. He seems to be extremely old, since he needs the, needs the ear trumpet just to be able to hear, and I'm guessing his vision is not much better. Hmm, there's a skeleton of an esposian. Their skeleton looks very strange. Their legs and arms look like they're made of sausage links. He has a neck pouch. No wonder he's dead. <laughs> All right. Whoa, screaming ants nest. Uh, do they are are they literally ants that scream? Home of the scream ants. Seems to be uninhabited. Okay. Whew. I don't want to destroy it. The crazy old guy shot an arrow in here. Might come in handy. <clears throat> it's stuck. All right. I have a small box. My chili drops are empty. Your... your what? No more chili drops. Should I even ask what a chili drop is? <laughs> okay, um... Hmm. It looks like a tree to me. The shape and the color lead me to no other conclusion. I would have to agree there, Laura. In order to get up there, I'd need help. All right, so I can't get up there. That idiot. I should leave him hanging up there. Hey, Flutnose, Robert, here. Laura, man, I'm glad you're here. I can't feel my legs anymore. Only to myself. <laughs> Hello, Robert. How are you? Please don't kill us. I have to get him down from there. Flute Nose is slowly going crazy. Okay, so every time I talk, he shoots, and it also seems to raise Robert up a bit, which also cuts into his rope a little bit more. So I shouldn't do that too many times. Um, hmm. No fooling around. What if I, like, used the box to catch an arrow? Or something? I can't reach it. Alright, can I just leave? Okay. What's down here? Hopefully something I can use. Oh my god, look at that centipede. That is a big centipede. Watch your limbs. We are not liable for lost extremities. Hmm, who is we? Right, to the treehouse or into the forest? Let's 
go into the forest. <clears throat> oh, hi. Uh, who are these people? What the f I just heard a scream from the screaming spot. <laughs> what? Dare I even ask? Alright. Well, let's just leave Robert there for like a half hour while I figure this out. <laughs> Don't worry, Robert. I'll be back in a, a few days. What's that screaming all the time? What should I grab? I can't see. I could just start stomping all over the ground. If it doesn't stop screaming, that's what I'll do. I don't think that would help. <laughs> it sounds kind of adorable now, but I think once I hear it like a hundred times, it's probably going to drive me crazy. The tank is full of honey. <laughs> what? Seriously? My hand doesn't fit into the tank. Honey, a, a honey-powered machine? The machine is aiming at that strange animal on the edge of the forest. Now it's aiming at the crazy old man in the treehouse. What the heck does this thing do? Now it's aiming somewhere into the forest. Now it's aiming at the strange animal on the edge of the forest. Well, let's, um, trigger it. Why not? A red button connected to the machine. I have the urge to press it and see what will happen. That's so strange. I have the same urge, too. Really, I mean, you can't leave a, a big red button unpressed, right? Come on, let's do it. It doesn't do anything. It's busted. Hmm. I guess it needs more honey? The tank is full of honey... Well, I mean, she says the tank is full of honey, so it sounds like it doesn't need any more. Or maybe it shouldn't have honey and it should have something else in it. I have no idea. Oh my god, stop screaming. Weird, guys. So that's what Asposia looks like from the outside? But what outside would that be? And who could have ever seen the world from out there? Maybe a mole that is able to look through the earth. It's only a globe, okay? An abstract reproduction. <laughs> hmm. A wind map is a strange concept. But in its own weird way, it sort of makes sense. Hmm. Alright, so I'm guessing there's sci- Yeah. Yeah, they're scientists gathering information. About the wind. There's a book for aerology. Gone with the Wind. <laughs> Another book. A saddle on a barrel. What do you need a saddle for? You don't even have a barrel. Well, I can't argue with that. What kind of characters are you then? What are you doing here? Oh, look, gentlemen, we have a visitor. Great! Are you, by chance, the cleaning lady we called? Cleaning lady? You can start right there in the back. It's been years since it's last been swept. May I ask what you're doing here? Aerological research. What does that mean? You don't know? Vams, don't be so hard on her. She's just a cleaning lady. I can't believe it. She's never heard of aerology. Oh my god, look at that icon for Pandur. He does not look good in that icon. Alright, well, if they think I'm the cleaning lady, I guess I can use that to my advantage. Because they won't mind when I go to clean their stuff, aka mess around with their items and steal stuff. Do you know the crazy old guy in the treehouse? Oh, that guy. You have to watch out. That guy is dangerous. Yes. We've tried to pass him, but he always sends a scattering. We had to leave our fourth buddy behind. Oh, Simon. 
But the old guy is almost deaf, nearly blind, and probably a thousand years old. And you're three people. Are you implying that we should have used violence? Pfft. I mean, we've tried, but he's vastly superior in strength. Yes, that's not just an old guy. He's a trained killer without any conscience. We lost Simon because of him. Simon was such a good guy. But we expect him to return any day now. Well then, good luck. Yeah, you lost him. Oh, <laughs> Did he perhaps have a pouch and a hat? This this Simon? Did did he? So, you're missing a friend? Yes, his name was Simon. Is! His name is Simon! I refuse to give up hope. Well, he didn't return from his expedition. Not yet. All that we have left of him will be left. Whatever. He was a genius and a gentleman. He invented this globe here, for example. Can I have it? You'd have to rip it out of my cold, dead hands. Interesting suggestion. We actually don't need it anymore. But Lats drinks his root coladas out of it. Yes, it's possible to stick straws into the wind fountain holes. Also, Simon probably wants it back when he comes home. So, no. Okay, fair enough. I have to say, though, I don't think Simon's coming back. But if that actually is his skeleton, then how long ago did he go on this expedition? Because it would take a very long time to turn completely into a skeleton. The crazy old guy kidnapped my companion. If we go together, we could maybe save him and your friend. Sounds great! But, uh, I can't leave the station alone. Uh, and I have to uh, do the laundry today. Tumble mice are underestimated. Great. I'm stuck in a forest with idiots. Pretty much. What exactly are aerologists? Is that some kind of religion? Religion? Ha! <laughs> Aerology is the science of the wind. It's a difficult field. Yes, sir. Religion is for weak spirits and holidays. We explore the gods' paths with gauges. Are you talking about that box back there? A box? Tola, did she just call it a box? Oh yes, I think I heard it too. So, please, box? This complicated apparatus sends out analog impulse vehicles, which we use to precisely analyze the wind. And then we draw these winds onto the map. The Erica Charter. I see. Hmm. Your sophisticated machine doesn't move. It ran out of fuel. Besides, our friend poured honey into the tank. And I would do it again. <laughs> we know that. Just go back to sleep. Well, okay, so the machine does not in fact run on honey. Good to know. How does your machine work? It's very complex. A little too complex for a maid. Well, the machine strategically sends out small paper impulse vehicles into previously determined directions. It's able to engineer this itself. So it spits out paper planes? Correct! My goodness, have you ever thought of switching professions? <laughs> and with these paper planes, you can determine wind current. Exactly. But unfortunately, we hadn't yet discovered any flow paths before the machine broke down. You mean before the sleeping guy poured honey in the tank? Correct again! What kind of fuel does the machine take? It works off a semi-solid combination of coarse-grained materials. So, mud? Well, you mix swamp water and sand. And you get mud. But the correct mix ratio is difficult to obtain. 50-50? Damn. <laughs> okay. Have you ever thought about, well, filling it up with new mud? Do you think we're crazy? Um, no? No. The only swamp is guarded by a gorf. And we'd also have to pass the crazy wind monk. I've been walking around here for quite a while. And nothing has happened to you yet? 
No, I have happened to others. So you just have to mix sand with swamp water to get it going again. It sounds so simple. Yes, as if we just sit around uselessly. We could pour honey in it. Hmm. So you chart the winds on the map? Exactly. We believe that they reveal something. We hardly dare to think about it, but it could be that there's a spot in the forest, a wind fountain, where there's another wind fountain. That would be unbelievable. If the map is completed, you could determine where it is. Of course, we are aerologists. We're scientists. Honey. Wow, that person is so dumb. Okay, so there might be a hidden wind fountain in the forest. Hmm. How long have you been working on that map? How long? One year, two years, ten years. Since last Tuesday. Oh, I don't know. I'm able to pinpoint winds exactly, but I never know what time it is. Wonderful. This place marked on the map. If only it were already complete. It could be anything. It could be a new wind fountain. It could be a city. It could be a notch in the universe. It could be where my dad is. I have to go. Oh, before I forget, if you make the beds, could you maybe put little chocolate mints on the pillows? Oh yes, I love those. Maybe I could just put a dead tumble mouse under your blanket. I love tumble mice. But do you like dead ones? <laughs> okay. Right, there's a lot of stuff around here. I'm gonna go into the tent. Don't touch. That's the result of many hard years' work. That's just sad. Wait. After years of work, that that's all you've made. I have to search for the secret place on the map. Maybe I can find my father there. A tent? Those wimps! The last time I was camping, I slept in a ditch, and it was raining. No, it smells weird in there. I'm not going in. Okay, fair enough. Exhaust pipe. Exactly what I thought. Nothing. I could make a knot in it, but right now I'm actually trying to repair the machine. Okay. Need some fuel. Although I wonder if I have to siphon out the honey first. What do I have on me again? A box. Hmm. And there's the screaming again. What is that? That screaming. Hey, Gorf. What the hell is that? Ew! There really are some disgusting creatures in this forest. These creatures happen to have ears and feelings that can be heard. You can talk. What kind of funny animal are you? Excuse me. Your companion was a lot nicer than you, young lady. Besides, funny is the wrong word. Unless you find it amusing when a living creature dies a gruesome death. Depends who it is. What's so dangerous about you? I happen to belong to the extremely dangerous species of gorfs. We belong to the family of rational amphibians. Which means? We've already explained this to your husband. Lethal poisons compose about ninety-six percent of my body, except for this part of my head. That's just really itchy. Did you just say husband? Yes. And that I could kill you at any moment. He's not my husband. What makes you think that? Hello, I'm a cold-blooded killer. I'm not married. <laughs> And I have a dry spot on my head. We all have our problems. <laughs> a dry spot? Yes, I have very sensitive skin. It's itching like crazy, and I can't scratch myself. But I've already told your husband this. Stop saying that. I've only known him for half an hour. Oh, don't you think Marion was a little hasty? 
For the last time, he's not my husband. And if you say that one more time, that itchy spot on your head will be the least of your problems. Ooh, no reason to fly off the handle, young lady. I'm somewhat irritable because my head is itchy. Well, you rational amphibian, why don't you put something on it? What do you suggest? I don't know. Lotion? Lotion, please! I only use homeopathic remedies. Come on, you just made that word up. Mm. Yeah, but overall it's a good idea. For such a primitive being, you don't seem to be that stupid. Watch it. Hmm. Well, at the moment I really don't have anything that could help. Would you be in a better mood if that spot wasn't so itchy? I think so, but I can't scratch myself. Would you mind? I'd rather stick my hand in boiling water. <laughs> Funny you say that. The effect would be about the same. Yeah, I can't exactly touch him. Not with my hand. Why don't you get some ointment or something? I can't leave this place! As I told your husband, He's not my husband. My claws sink into nearly every hard surface and then I can barely move. But perhaps you could. Possibly find a person selling makeup in this forest? What a disgusting, stinky mud hole. Thanks. It's my home. It's no palace, but it's all mine. Holy crap, you live here? Absolutely. This area offers so many creative possibilities. How? Oh, a lot of stuff has sunken here. A vase, uh, an old pair of underwear, and uh, more arrows than I can count. I'm back by those stalks that look like fur leaves and that crazy tree guy's glasses. Glasses, huh? Hmm. Well, that explains why he can't see so well, and why he keeps missing his shots. He lost his glasses. How do you know where all the objects have sunken? Well, there's not much going on here. If something falls into the swamp, it's a memorable event. So, you just sit here and look around all day? Well, the way you put it, it doesn't sound like a very inspiring activity. I just meant that it sounds really boring. Uh, I know. Do you happen to know anything about the crazy old guy who lives up in that tree? Oh, the old man that lured your husband into the trap. <laughs> he's not my husband, and yes. Well, he's a deranged windmuck. Very aggressive. You two would probably get on well. Funny. I don't know much about him. He grumbles quietly to himself while setting up traps. Uh, he's almost deaf. And nearly blind since his glasses fell into the swamp. The lunatic is a wind monk? That's not surprising. They can't be trusted. Are you talking to me? No, you can't trust a gorf either. The old guy's glasses are in the swamp? Yes, glasses are commonly used for reading books. Do you know what a book is? Are you sure that you're a rational amphibian and not a threatened by extinction because you couldn't shut up amphibian? Trust me. Contrary to you, I've studied. Really? You've studied? How? How would you turn the pages in these books that you've supposedly studied? As soon as you touch them, wouldn't they just melt away? I'm suspicious of your claim, Gorf. Are you sure the glasses are by the fern back there? That's not a fern, those are arrows. The old man dropped his glasses and started shooting out of anger. Enough. I'll be going now. Oh, you'll be back. Don't think I didn't notice the sensual tension between us. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I actually feel too sick to puke. Wow, I... I can't imagine why you can't get any dates, Gorf. <laughs> Alright, where are these ferns? Here? Reed? Spot in the swamps? The 
Gorf said a pair of glasses sank here. I wonder what else is hidden in the depths of the swamp. Probably a bunch of very strange and useful objects. That I could perhaps put into my inventory and combine in interesting and creative ways to solve my problems. I'm supposed to rummage through that stinky swamp with my bare hands until I find something? Great idea. The answer is no. Alright, what can I use? What an idiotic plant. Entirely hollow. What? How can a plant be idiotic? Hmm. Alright, well I can use that to fish stuff out, I suppose. Yes, I can feel the glasses just like the Gorf said I would. But I can't pull them out. Hmm. Hmm. I don't really have anything to attach to it. Seriously. No, not seriously. Um, hmm. Some sort of a grabber or a hook. It's not usable anymore. Let's go back to the treehouse. Now that I have something that can give me some extra reach, maybe I could reach something? I don't think this is gonna work. Seriously? No. Yeah, can I reach this? Slowly, but surely, you're getting desperate, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, yeah, okay, I can't reach anything. Hmm. Slowly, but... Alright, let's go back. I can't grab this, right? <laughs> it's... Nah. And there's the screaming again. No fooling around. I have to save the world. Yep. Gotta save the world. Hmm. I'm honestly not sure what to do with it. But anyway. Oh, <laughs> oh god, I'm gonna leave this. I'm gonna leave this scene so it stops screaming. Please stop screaming. Okay. I'm actually going to end this episode here, and when I come back, I guess I will already have found solution to what to do next. Alright, so I hope everyone has enjoyed so far, and I will be back soon.